me pull this up. I think I'm live. I forgot to open up my Facebook page on my iPad, so bear with me here. It's, <clears throat> pardon me, it's been like a whole week since I've done a live, so I feel like I'm a newbie here once again, and um, yeah. Nervous? I don't think that's the right word. Excited? Yes. Can't wait to see who's all popping in. I think I'm live. I just haven't gotten my notification yet. Um, so, what is happening here? Hmm. You know what? Let me get up and take a peek and see if I actually am live. I still don't see it. Let's see. Yep, I am, and I see that there are some people here, so I don't know who's here, and I'm not sure what is taking so long here on my iPad, but let me introduce myself. Hello, bonjour. My name is Denise Willerton, and I am coming from the beautiful sunny city, or town, I guess, of East St. Paul, Manitoba, which is basically the outskirts of Winnipeg. I am thrilled that you're here. We're going to be working on, or I'm going to be working on the Blossoms in Bloom uh, stamp set, and it's a bundle with the many layered blossom dies, and I still don't have my notification, which is really bizarre, um, and so I can't see any comments, which is really unfortunate, and I can't see myself, so I don't even know if I'm in screen or not. There we go, finally. Wow, talk about a lag. Usually there's a 30 second lag. I guess for me there's like a three minute lag. So here we are. I see romper, romper, stomper, boom. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me, do tell me, magic mirror, tell me today. Are all my friends coming out to play? I see Lucy and I see Darlene and I see Rita. Um, and it is lovely to see your names popping in. So thank you for saying hello. And I see Jean. So thank you for saying hello. And Susan is here, which is wonderful. Um, I have stories to tell. Oh my goodness, it's been a whole week. I hope you saw my live last week when I kind of gave you the before and the after of our lake house. So it's coming together. Um, Dean and I are really kind of uh, picky when it comes to yard work. Well, not picky, but uh, we, we want a certain look. We want it to look nice, okay? So, hi Rita, nice to see your name pop up here. Jean, you shared my video. Well, there you go. I'm going to write your name down. So, for anyone who is new to my lives, whenever you share, I add your name for a draw. And so, the names that I'm going to be drawing at the end of today's video... Um, is from uh, last week, well actually two weeks ago because last week I didn't do one because I was on vacation and I draw your name for a prize. So, um, and Lucy, you know what, let me get these names down here before I forget. So Lucy shared and Jean shared. I hope everybody is actually getting a turn with all my sharing that, um, that you've actually won a prize which is wonderful. I need to turn. There we go. My volume was not turned down on my iPad and I could hear myself um, echoing. So yeah, um, Dean and I used to own a beautiful acreage, about an acre and a half um, of a beautiful manicured yard and it was dreamy and it's so hard for me to even talk about it because I miss it so much and wished we had never sold. We thought um, I guess almost five years ago now, we thought that we wanted to downsize. And so um, I had a little greenhouse with a walking path to my greenhouse. And we had a great big indoor or uh, outdoor 20 by 40 in-ground pool, a hot tub. We had dug a huge pond with a beautiful um, decorative wall behind it made out of old barn board uh, from a, a barn here in the city that was being torn down. And anyway, it was dreamy. We had uh, people coming to do uh, wedding shots in our yard, graduation um, uh, uh, photo ops in our yard, and all kinds of beautiful things like that. Anyway, we had this idea that we wanted to downsize. Oh, my word. 
we've been restless ever since. So enter in the lake house. So that's kind of the backstory of the lake house. Otherwise, if we would have not sold our acreage, we would never uh, have, have bought a lake house. So now we're on this mission to make that yard look beautiful. Um, so how's that for my little wham? It's been a hard week for me here. I'm not going to lie. I had, uh, I, I did not have a good day yesterday. I had even a worse day the day before and not that anything, uh, has, has happened. It's just, uh, here in Canada, here in Winnipeg, the whole COVID thing is still kind of in lockdown. And anyway, my, my heart is aching and I'm just, I'm going kind of a little bit crazy. I'm missing my kids. I'm missing the large gatherings with all of my children and all my peeps um, and all my girls in my classes. It's just, I, I think it has gotten to me. Um, so there you go. I, it's out there and now you all know. <laughs> but um, uh, so after my live, my bags are packed. I'm out of here. I'm going to the lake house. So I'm going to go putter. Um, let me bring, Rita, you shared, let me, and I'm going to have to go back and um, look and see if anyone else has shared. Gail, you shared, I've got you down. So ladies, when I bring the camera down, you will see your name. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to be that for you. Um, if you do have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I welcome you here. Please do not go away, but continue to shop with your demonstrator. That's just the right thing to do. Um, oh, thanks. I take those hugs. Um, and, uh, um, and if you are a demonstrator, that is wonderful. I hope you leave here inspired today. Let's bring the camera down. So if it makes you dizzy, close your eyes for a minute because I'm too afraid to cover my camera because every, every time I do, I seem to touch something on the other side and then something funky happens like teardrops or whatever. So the camera's coming down. Okay. And let's spin it around. Okay, here we go. And let's move that out of the way because that's probably, oh, and I'm not even plugged in. You know what? I hope, I hope, I hope I don't run out of, um, let me, sorry, let me take the time to plug in my phone. There we go. So all of my little check things that I'm supposed to do, well, I obviously didn't. Let me get some lights on here so we're not as shadowy. Um, I took the time. I've seen a lot of uh, gals doing this on their Facebook Lives, and I thought, you know what? That is brilliant because now I've got the measurements right in front of me, and if anybody else wants the measurements, they're right there, okay? Um, I am placing an order tomorrow. This is the host code that you're going to use if you want to place an order with me um, because I've got some time sensitive items that I need to get out. Okay, um, so far I've got uh, Gail, Rita, Lucy, and Jean uh, in my share pool. Okay, so without any further ado, let me show you what we are going to do today using the Blooms in Blossom and the Many Layered Blossom Dyes. I don't know if you've seen these. Let me pull them out for you. They're amazing, okay? So you've got this larger uh, die that would cut out a bigger flower, and then you've got this um, uh, thinner one that actually fits right on top, I think I've got it upside down, there you go, right on top to kind of um, uh, shadow it, let's say. But let me show you what I've done with this. This one here is fantastic for um, doing sponging. So we're going to be pulling out our brushes today, okay? Lynn, I want to welcome you here. Uh, please let us know where you're from. It's nice to see your name. And I hope that you are inspired. Okay, here are the cards that we're going to feature. Oh, you know what? Can I show you a card that was gifted to me? And um, I, I need to do this. That's the envelope. So this is just a little pocket. This is from my dear friend, Debbie. Look at this. I am going to be showcasing that. So there's the card. The, the little card that slips into the pocket. 
so, so sweet. Thank you, Kathy, so much for that. Oh, and Kathy, there you are. Thank you. I absolutely adore that card, and I cannot wait to showcase it. Okay, so here are, and I'm hoping to get to all three of these cards today, okay? So all three of them are using the many layered blossom dies and the blooms, the, the blossoms in bloom stamp set, okay? So here we go. Which one to do first? Um, you know what? Let's do this one first because I want to show you a little trick because I do not think I had set this up yet. Oh, I did. Which one did I not? Maybe I did all of them. This is the one that I did not set up. Okay, so this thin layer here on this one, let me put those there. That is this die here, okay? And then underneath it on the glitter is this die here. But let me show you a little trick on how I adhere my um, adhesive sheets. Now, uh, Stampin' Up! Car still carries these, but Sizzix is not all over it. When I heard uh, last year that Stampin' Up! was not going to carry adhesive sheets anymore, I went crazy because I love them. So I ordered a whole whack of them. So I know that I want adhesive sheet behind my glitter paper, and I know that I want adhesive sheet behind my basic white, okay? The uh, Bermuda Bay is my, my panel. So here is what I do. Hello, Mona. Uh, welcome here, hon. If you share, um, I will add your name for a draw. So the trick is to get this going. So you're going to take your adhesive sheet, and sometimes I just grab my Take Your Pick tool and see if I can get it lifted. There we go. There we go. Okay, now here's my little trick. So when you peel back your adhesive sheet, the sticky side, it's lifting up a little bit there. That's why I'm pressing it. Okay, here we go. The sticky side is, the sticky side, work with me here, is on this right here. This is the non-sticky side. This is what I like to do. I give that a fold because I don't want to touch the stickiness. I want that stickiness to stay nice and sticky. I know I want adhesive sheet behind this. So what I do on the side where there is no adhesive lifted, I lay down my glitter paper on there and I make sure that I'm as straight as can be. I give it a press there, so now I'm stuck in that corner. And now I can lift this and carry on down here, having not touched my adhesive sheet at all. I also know that I want adhesive behind my, um, my basic white. So I'm going to carry on the same thing. I'm not touching my adhesive backing. I'm going to press that up against there and bring that down like so. And now I'm gonna give that a little bit of a burnish, okay? I'm going to get my scissors out and I can see that I've got, that I don't need that part of the adhesive. So I'm just cutting my basic white and I've got a little strip here and I don't want that getting in the way. Mona, I see that you shared. Thank you so much for that. I'm gonna write your name down right away here. There we go. So that is trash. And that's big enough for a nice little flower or something. This is trash. And now, on both of these papers, I've got my adhesive sheet on there. And that was easy peasy to do. And I never touched the backing of my adhesive at all. So if anyone missed that, um, 
you'll have to go back and, and take a peek after the fact. So Mona, Lisa, thank you for sharing. June, I want to welcome you here. Nice to see your name pop up. So now with this, I am going to die cut the, um, the glitter on uh, using this die. Bah, I can't talk. And I am going to cut this out um, on my basic white. But I failed to bring my cut emboss machine forward. So let's move on to card number two and card number three because that's all done. And depending on time, I'll come back to this one and you will get the idea of what this one is supposed to be. So behind here, I've got my glitter paper and here I've got the thin, right, of my basic white. And then that would be my panel, okay? So let's just tuck that away and depending on time, I may get to that, okay? So here we go. Let's start with this one. I want to save the best for last. So I used Granny Apple Green, or is it Granny Green Apple? I can't remember. So my, uh, my first panel is the Granny Apple Green. My second panel is the Basic White. Whoops, I've got a little bit of adhesive on my finger here. And there's my little sentiment. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do with this one is I want to get my Stamparatus. Where did I put my... Uh-oh, I have a missing, a missing magnet. That's not good. I have no idea where I put that. That's weird. I... I guess I can't say I never do that because I just did. But speaking of magnet, here's one of the stories that I want to tell you. Hi, Heather. Welcome here. So Dean and I were doing work at the lake house on the weekend. And one of the things that he was doing was he was putting up a new light fixture in the bathroom. And on the counter in the bathroom were four of the screws to adhere that, um, that light, okay? And he told himself, he was telling me this, he told himself, Dean, take the screws off the bathroom counter because it's going to fall down the sink. And you think he did? He did not. So I'm, I was working on a card uh, in the dining room and I heard him say shoot and I'm like what anyway came into the washroom he's like I dropped a screw down the thing and I said oh don't worry I said stamparatus to the rescue I took my magnet for my stamparatus that's it right there I took a long piece of pink duct tape and made it into this long tail and he stuck it down the hole of the the drain true story of the drain in the uh, bathroom sink and he's like honey you are brilliant and I'm like well it's stamping up of course it has double duty so anyway that's the story of my stamparatus magnet but I don't know what I did with my other magnet I am going to take so with this I can't remember what color I used behind there it almost looks like soft succulent but I don't think soft succulent was here quite yet. I am going to use, what do I want to do to ink this up? Okay, granny apple green is my background, so I for sure don't want that. That's going to be too much. Um, you know what? Let's go with soft succulent. Yes, Darlene. Stampin' Up to the Rescue, once again, that's two times my Stamparatus Magnet has come to the rescue. So when I am inking up a large stamp, I like to always use my Stamparatus. I, I actually use my Stamparatus a lot. So let's get that down, like so. 
Now this whole card is going to end up doing double duty. So that's stamped and that's going to go on there. I hope I end up liking the effect of that. Close that up. And now I know that I want the thin flower image that I die cut, right, out of this. And it's already done. Where did it go? Right here. Okay. So that's what came out of using that. But what I want to do is let's work on our next card. So this is die cut using the glitter paper. This one was die cut using the basic white. Okay. So I know that on my second card, this is going to be my background. So I'm going to be in the Rich Razzleberries, the Magenta Madness. Uh, what else do I have here? And maybe even a little bit of Bumblebee. Why not? But let's not waste. I need scrap. Let's not do that backing on a piece of... That's not the scrap I want. I want a clean background. There we go. Let's not waste sponging this on a piece of scrap when I, it can double up and do double duty. So we're going to place that down. We don't want it to move, okay? Let me get my bumblebee. And I want to open that up. Hi, Barb. Yes, I am on early today, and I want Blackberry Bliss. I think I said Rich Razzleberry, but I don't have it out, so we're going with Blackberry Bliss. See how I've got this little strip of color on all of this? When you buy your ink pads, you have a strip of color on the back of all of them. I like to take that strip off. I put it on the sides, I put it all around, and then I also put it on the inside so that when my stamp pads, let me put them this way so you can see what I'm talking about. When my stamp pads are opened in front of me, I can see the colors, okay? Don't forget to share, ladies, and I will add you for the draw. So here are my blending brushes, and I want to stay a little bit true to what's happening here, okay? So why don't we start with the bumblebee up at the top. We're going to pick up some ink. I'm trying really hard for this not to move, so when I do move, I'm going to move my whole scratch pad or paper, not, not this, okay? We're going to start off and... I'm rolling or coming away so that little leaves don't flip this way. And even if I end up with a pounce mark, it just ends up being kind of the look of what's happening anyway. So I'm trying not to move my mask. And when it does move, once you start blending, it's fairly easy to uh, take it back. I'm not going to worry about cleaning this. Oh, that's okay, Susan. If I had uh, the ability to um, to have picture in picture, you could possibly lip read. But I don't have that ability. We're going to we don't want we don't want that to move. I'm going to pick up some more ink. And I'm coming up and I'm blending into this as well. Don't want that to move. I'm going to move my paper. Pick up a little bit more. Oh, 
going to move my paper, move it around. There we go. Let's pick up some Blackberry Bliss. I've got a little bit of a pounce mark here, so I want to see if I can blend that in a little bit. Ah, and I did it again right there. Now you can try to be careful and not go out and and stay within but I'm not I'm not too worried about that and I do want to try and blend my colors in a smidge coming up into the magenta madness And I think I'm happy with that. So there's that done, but this is also done for my next card. So let's tuck that away for the next card. And we're going to move on to this for this card. Now, hopefully, I am going to like the colors that are happening here. So see how this lines up? I don't know that I'm liking the granny apple green too much, but you know what? I am forgetting something because I had, um, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Okay, with this one, this is already pre-cut. This is going to go down on here, like so, okay. And you know what I did? I cannot find, for the life of me, if you saw my room, you would understand, I can't find my silicone sheet. So my brilliant friend Susan, or um, Shelly, from Toronto said, you know what? If you have one of those baking silicone sheets, it's the same thing. So this is my baking silicone sheet. I want to remove my backing. So sometimes the easiest way for me to do it is to see if I can start lifting by digging into it. There we go. And so let's lift part of that off. I love our adhesive sheets. Love, love, love. Come on, work with me. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work, but it, it is so worth it at the end of it all. Ladies, you are extremely quiet today. Everybody's either napping or you all have me on silence. Let's see where this goes, and I'm going to kind of do the same technique that I did when I put my backing on in the first place. I want to, let's remove this like so, okay, and let's just bend that over, okay? Now watch. I'm going to start where the backing has not been lifted and line this up and I like how that is lined up and now I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to continue lifting my backing okay it's not ideal but I love how easy it makes it for me mostly Just takes a little bit of work. You were paying attention. Thank you, Lucy. Yes, there's lots going on here, isn't there? So see how this part is down already. 
And this part, I am touching the backing a little bit, but not a whole lot. Not a whole lot doing it this way. And there, there's the rest of the backing that has come off. Just want to make sure that I'm still in camera here. And now I can press that all down like so. Some of this is coming off a little bit, but we're just going to have to deal with that. So I chose Granny Green Apple just because there is Granny Green Apple here, but should I grab a different color instead? Should I be using Bermuda Bay or Rich Razzleberry? What do you girls think? Because right now we've got a thin border of Granny Green Apple. And you know what? Let me move my silicone sheet. It might give you a truer look so that you're not, the greens are not competing. Would you rather see a different color backing? You like the Granny Apple Green? Rich Razzleberry? Okay, I need a tiebreaker. We have one Granny Apple Green and one Rich Razzleberry. Oh, I know, Susan, this rainbow glitter is fantastic. Rich Razzleberry? Okay, let's go to my little kitty here. And I know that, let's close these out before I stick my finger in it. This panel is four by five and a quarter. So I know that I want five and three eighths. And there it is. There's the Rich Razzleberry. Rich Razzleberry, whoops, that's basic black. Okay, Kathy, long time no see. I popped in on Kathy this morning for just a real quick bit, like 20 minutes before my live. She's just kind of down the street. So there it is with Rich Razzleberry. So all we're going to do is get your silicone mat. There's my variation of the silicone mat. I think I need a new Tombow, and I totally forgot. Let's get that down. I'm excited to go to the lake early. Dean's going to come tomorrow. He took the afternoon off. So I'm just eyeballing for a thin border, like so. I didn't, um, I didn't center my stamping very well. But this still is going to come over the edge anyway. And I, on purpose, wanted to leave it past my rich razzleberry. So then I'm just going to take my snips and I'm just going to snip what's hanging over like so and like so and there is adhesive backing on it. So rich razzleberry it is ladies and now this whole panel is going to go down on our card base. You could use dimensionals, or tape runner, or your liquid adhesive. I'm choosing to do liquid adhesive. I'm eyeballing this edge and my top and bottom before it actually goes down so that I know that I'm fairly square. Let's put some uh, oh, you know what I want to do? Here's a little scrap of Rich Razzleberry. Let's put some adhesive behind that. And put that on this little piece of scrap paper. Take your snips. This set is fantastic, Lucy. I love this bundle. And there we've made a little um, a little frame for it. We'll get our mini dimensionals, and we'll pop that on our card. 
Oh, you know what? Um, you know how the in color jewels were um, back ordered and not orderable because they were there were so many that were back ordered. They're back. So guess what I've got on my order form? If anybody wants any, please let me know. I am placing an order. So I've got this white down here and up there, but I'm going to stay true to what I did with my other cards. And I'm just eyeballing kind of an equidistance frame right there in the corner. Let's get some of these gorgeous jewels. I haven't played with these because I was too afraid to use them up, but now I'm not. So let's get, let's pull some of this green in here. Just because I've got green down here, I want to pull that up there as well. And there, and then just a little guy right there. Our card is complete. Now let's move on to our second card. Okay, measurements are all the same. Remember how we pre-did that? Oh, you know what? That actually, ah, I forgot. This goes down on here, but now I've got my sentiment on there. Ah, not going to work now. Let's see if I can pull that off. So I've got adhesive sheet behind there as well. Let's see if I can, ah, get my dimensionals off. Does this ever happen to you or am I the only one where you're like, oh, I forgot. But I mean, this seriously, before I even put it down, let's just remove that. And we're gonna put that right back on so I'm not worried about the little ripping. So, ladies, I need your advice. Do I, do I put this little skinny frame down on top of the card as well? Let me bring it closer. Do we want this on or do we want the card just like so? Please tell me. On or off? Hi, Karen. Welcome here. Yes, okay. But on or off? On, okay. On. Okay, let's take it on. So we're going to do the same thing. I am just going to kind of poke in here without poking right through just so that I can get that going, okay? And so I want... And, and now this is even fiddlier, okay? Is that a word? Because this is really thin, but you know what? It's so much nicer than trying to put adhesive down on all these skinny little pieces. Let's just get some of that lifted. And once you get it going a bit, it's a little bit easier. I just want to get enough going. You want to make sure that all the little holes are popped out. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of bend it down towards this way. I want to lay it down where I have not removed any backing. Bring it up. And then press down where I have removed backing. So now I know I'm fairly square and I can continue removing. Does that system make sense to you all? It's a little bit labor intensive, but I think at the end it makes it easier. And then I remove a little bit more and I can press more down and just make sure that I'm still kind of square-ish. Karen, don't, um, whoops, I moved. Don't forget to share, honey, and I can add your name.
to the draw. See how it moved a little bit? I want to get all of my backing off now so that I can just put the whole thing down. And hopefully it's going to behave and stay nicely on the glitter. Okay, so now I'm hanging over on the edge a, a smidge. And let's get our snips and just snip that off like so. So there we go. Trash and trash. And I still have dimensionals back here. And I think it will be easier if I just reapply a little bit of adhesive than trying to take those off my sentiment because I will risk ripping that. Ladies, this little message is for each of you. I sure do miss you, and I do. There's card number one. Now that is complete. Karen, I've got your name down for the draw. I'm going to be drawing um, the name from two weeks ago at the end of this. Okay, so here we're going to do card number two. So remember how we, we, um, we used our blending brushes and we, we, uh, blended brushed ahead of time using the backing from this okay we stuck that backing on our basic white and we blended so that we weren't just putting it on a piece of scratch paper and what I also did with all of my cards and remind me I will do it um, is I used um, my stamp and mist at the end of it all there's our sentiment this is going to go down on here like so hi Candice welcome here and let's put that down I'm just checking out and making sure that I've got kind of equal distance I'm just eyeballing let's give that a little press Okay, and so this was pre-cut. Not all my dots are out, but I have a feeling that some of them, or most of them, are going to come as I slowly start lifting my adhesive sheet. So, Candice and Glenda, if you share... Um, and please let me know that you did. I will add your name for a draw, and I will draw for a prize these names next week. So the names that I'm going to draw today are from the gals that, um, or, or my friends, that shared on my last live. And I usually go live every Thursday afternoon at 3.15. Now see how these ones didn't come off? Now that I'm lifting my adhesive back, I can tell which ones are not going to come off and I can slowly just pick away at them. I don't know if there is a better trick. Maybe if I would have burnished really well, which I don't recall that I did. Let's just remove the backing. I'm using my take your pick tool. Those all came out nicely because I'm trying really hard not to touch too much of the backing. Candace, any friend of Karen's is a friend of mine. Welcome here from England. How fantastic is that? So how, um, how are you related? Your cousins, so is it your father's or your mother and father? Or how are you related? So Karen, are you from England too? And where in England are you, my dear? I feel like I want to come and visit you. 
Karen, I'm feeling a road trip. I guess it's not a road trip. It's a sea trip. I'll go to England with you. <laughs> Nothing like inviting myself. Hi, Shell. Welcome here. No worries. So I'm just trying to pick all of the backings or all of the, uh, the little things that didn't come out with my adhesive sheet. And at the same time, trying not to get my fingers all over everything. Most of it came out, but let's just try. Okay, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Am I live once again? Yes, I am. Sorry about that. You know what? My phone rang. It was the front gate, and I'm expecting a delivery, so I had to take it. Okay, so I'm still picking away at all the little pieces that didn't come out. Again, most of them did. Most of them did. And then there's one little piece of backing that didn't come off. There we go. I think we've got it all, girls. They're all attached to my fingers, but I think we've got it all. Cousins on your dad's side. Oh my goodness! You lived in Bristol. So Karen, seriously, did you live in England too? Sorry, I'm asking too many personal questions here. Sorry about that. I lived in Germany, and now I am going to see where we masked when we did this one. Here's where we masked, and I'm going to now place this over top of our mask. And there we go. Down we go. And so again... Um, actually, nothing is really hanging over the edge. Perfect. This one is a little bit. It's on the rich razzleberry, but I like that. Okay, so that's done. Let's do a rich razzleberry border for that. And I've got another. P Look at all the pink, Dar. It screams you. <laughs> oh dear. Candace, don't feel like you have to answer, okay? Because everything you can will be used against you. Everything you say. How, how does that go? I don't know how that goes. I'm sure Candace would have you, Karen. My goodness. Who wouldn't? I would have you. Come to the lake house. It's not the same as England, but please do. I can't wait to get there. Did anybody um, see our uh, my update when I when I did my uh, my live and see all the crazy work that Dean and I did, which was actually super fun. I've got little pieces stuck to me here. Okay, let's get our dimensionals back there. I know. Are you there now, Karen? Because I know the border was closed. Lucy, I can't wait for you to see all the hard work. So again, I'm just kind of um, w watching this edge end, and I'm wanting to kind of have the same depth on all sides, like so. Let's get our Tombow and put that on our card base, which I failed to grab. Yep, it's time for more adhesive. There we go. Hello, Francis. Welcome here. 
we are just about done. We are working on these cards, okay? I need another card base. Ah, I thought I had one, and I don't. And I've got my adhesive on the back of this, and I didn't even have a card base ready and I usually always do oh there's one different fold it'll be the same idea here we go this is going down so Francis what I tell my girls whenever they come on is if you share I will enter your name for a draw for next week and you don't have to be here I'll just contact you if you happen to win so let's just get that all pressed down and let me know that you've shared and I'll add your name okay Rita it does look fantastic I can't wait to have you there and you know what I've got kind of a lot of pinky purples happening here so maybe do I want to go Hmm. Do I want to go? Yeah, you know what? I think I want to go this way. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put it in this little corner just because it's a little bit empty. And it's just crying out for gems. And there is our third card. Now, what time is it? I do not have time to do the other card, okay? But here are... So these two, different color combo, but these two are the same, and these two are the same, okay? And I'm really, really pleased with these cards, really pleased. So I am going to open up those that shared last week. I'm kind of bouncy, aren't I? I'm all over the place here. Last, or, or this is two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I had those that shared. I had Karen and Gail and Lucy and Kathy and Jean and Dar and Barb. Those were the gals that shared two weeks ago. And uh, I hope my live is okay. Lucy, thank you for the hearts. That means so much. Girls, I'm going to bring the camera up. So hang on. If you get dizzy, look away, okay? There we go. Probably chopped my head off. <laughs> this is scary looking. Okay, I'm jiggling the names in here, okay? Jiggling, that's a word. And the winner for today, I love, love, love these cards too, Lucy. I'm so excited to see who wins for today. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. The winner is Jean. You have won today, so you need to let me know card number one. Sandy, thank you so much. Card number two. Okay, so these are the same, but different colors. So that's one and two. Or no, they're not the same. That's okay. That's okay. Don't listen to me. Card number one. Card number two. Card number three. And card number four. So Jean, I'm assuming that you're still there. You are, honey. So four, three, two, or one. Which card would you like, Jean? Congrats on winning. It's so fun. It, it, you know what? It just does my heart so much good when I get to share cards with you all this way. So I'm going to tuck those that shared today in the bucket and next week I will draw the winner um, 
of next week's card. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do, but I think I have a pretty good idea. I'm going to throw today's names away um, with the exception of Jean's name. Number one, so this one, Jean, this is number one. That is coming your way, my friend. That is wonderful. So ladies, I am going to head off. I've got to load up my car. I've got one appointment um, elsewhere. And then away I go to the lake house. And so, um, you know what? I might even feel inspired to pull my, uh, my camera open when I get there and show you around and see if anything has grown, okay? Because lots of things were pretty teeny in there still. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go to the lake. I'm excited to share that with you uh, sometime if that, that is ever able to happen. And uh, with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a wonderful day. If you happen to be watching the replay on Facebook, please like my Facebook page. If you are watching on my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate that. We will talk to you all later. later. Have a blessed day and have a wonderful weekend. It's almost here. It's Thursday afternoon. Talk to you. Bye, everyone.